Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this review from Canada. In this review, we are going to learn about the XHM602 charge microcontroller device. We are going to explain the hardware, we are going to explain how to wire it, and also I'm going to test and demonstrate it. Let's get started with this. This is the XHM602 module. It operates with AC, so you don't need separate power for this one. You will use this to control the charge of a battery and charge your battery. So you will need separate charger, let's say you have a power source, and then uh, you will connect it to your battery and use this to monitor the level of charge as the voltage increases, reaches uh, the optimal level of charges, then it will disconnect it. You will connect your AC, supposedly this is now 220 volts, the AC enters as and from here it goes to your charger. This is your charger and this is your battery. So you will connect it to the, to the battery but the battery is being charged and then the two terminal of the battery will be connected here. This input accepts up to 73 or 70 volts. So if you have different type of a battery, it, it's okay, you will connect it. The voltage of the battery is being monitored and it will be displayed constantly in here and you can set lower limit and upper limit. Any voltage which is in between the upper and lower limit will cause this to turn on and allow the power to go. When the voltage reaches uh, high enough, which means when the battery is fully charged, this will turn off the relay and the power to the battery will be disconnected. In brief, the input AC would be connected to this point. Uh, suppose let's say 220 volts live neutral and it is being converted to 12 volts. Voltage AC, this bridge rectifier is converting it to DC and via this transistor the relay is being driven turning on and off. C to the output is being controlled by relay with the circuit. In this DC we have this regulator AMS1117 which will convert it to 5 volts which will feed uh, this uh, display and the microcontroller. In this DC we have this regulator AMS1117 which will convert it to 5 volts which will feed uh, this uh, display and the microcontroller. We, we have two switches here. This switch is for lower limit setting and this is for higher limit setting. When you charge the battery you will have a minimum voltage and the maximum which you will set here. When you do not touch these two buttons you will see the actual input voltage of the battery at this point. So these two terminals will be connected to the battery so you will constantly monitor the voltage of the battery. This microcontroller is new voton. This is N76E003 and this is one T8051 base microcontroller. The microcontroller is 8 bit, which has 18 kilobytes of main flash. AP ROM, they call it AP ROM. And it has LD ROM of 8 kilobytes. The operating voltage is 2.4 to 5.5 volts, so that's why we are using 5 volts. I will provide you the link in case if you want to have a look at this. When this operates and the output relay is on, this LED will turn on. When the LED is turned off, this LED will be turned off and the power will not pass through this relay and the charger will be turned off. The module operates with 220 volts. I'm not sure if there is a 110 volts version, but this is 220 to 12 volts. This will convert the input voltage which will be connected. The live will be connected in here or the hot wire and then the neutral in here. This goes into this transformer and if we look here, this is one wire. It goes through the relay and exits back. So this is the hot or live wire and that's the hot output. And that's the neutral which goes here and goes out. So you have neutral in and neutral out and live which goes like this, comes through this relay and exits. The output is connected to a charger which you can control a battery and it is being turned on and off by this relay. The output voltage for this one is 12 volts which is converted using this bridge rectifier here. 
there is a arrives at these two pin and the DC is outputted so this converts AC 12 volts to DC and this is M6BS here is the data sheet it is 0.5 ampere bridge rectifier and that's exactly the way it is N AC N enters and here that DC will be exited and the one that we are using is MB6S RMS voltage is 600 so this parameter does not matter much because the current is important and we are using it up to 12 volts I will provide you the link for the rectifier's data sheet now let me show you the output of this transformer this is my AC that I said on AC let me show you the input I have 240 volts at the input and the output is coming to these two pins of this uh, rectifier and I can connect it in here and as you can see we are reading 14.5 volts now, let me show you the DC on this side of rectifier and here we are getting 18 volts because there is no load at the moment the relay is now on and as you can see we are getting 14.8 volts almost 15 volts but this relay is rated as 12 volts let me now rotate this on the other side so we can see the voltage I turned it off let me now rotate this on the other side so we can see the voltage I turned it off now I turned it on this is the primary of the transformer these two are 240 volts enters and these two are the output AC 13.3 volts and these two pins are DC pins for the relay okay so these two are the DC pins for the relay and as you can see the relay is receiving 14.8 volts where it is on so the voltage which is about supposed to be 12 volts is coming to the to this regulator which converts it to 5 volts and the 5 volts will go to the rest of the circuit and this is a data sheet for the AMS1117 they have different voltages including 1.5, 1.8, 2.5, 3.3 and 5 volts and 2.85 and here are the pins as you can see pin, t uh, pin 1 is ground pin 2 is out and pin 3 is VN so this is the input and that's the output input and ground is in here these two let's measure the input and ground I'm on DC 14.8 volts at the input and the output is the middle pin 5 volts so we get 5 volts to microcontroller and all the rest of the circuits I have a wire like this this is the extension cord I'm gonna cut it from here and use it for this purpose and now this is the other piece we have to identify this is live and I have to also label which one is the live one you have to identify the live and neutral pins for example it has been mentioned here as hot the small one and the one that is a little longer this is neutral here in the plug and also here this is the live or hot and here you can see it and the one that is a little wider this is the neutral can use a continuity tester making sure to know that which one is live for example this side so this is a live this, this is the live pen let's see which one is alive so that's live now my wires are ready this is this will be attached to the device this goes to the wall and these two I'm gonna connect it in here on the module it says live and at the end it's live and the middle one is neutral if you pay attention these two neutral and here the wiring is done live neutral of this is connected in here and the neutral is connected to this pen 
and life is connected to this thing. This goes to your main voltage, let's say 220 volts or 240 volts, it enters, and the relay is connecting the output voltage, so this is going to your charger. You will connect it to your charger, and then from the two terminal of your battery, whatever battery you have, you will connect two wires to this point. Points are connected to your battery. These are the sensing voltage and deciding when to turn it on or turn it off. We have a positive on this side labeled and then a negative. So we will connect it like that. Because I don't have a charger and a battery, uh, I'm going to change the voltage and we will set this voltage so the output is turned on and off. I'm going to connect an AC bulb. Now I'm uh, connecting it for the first time to see the power here. So it has been connected. Now I'm going to check this is the reading voltage from battery at this point and it's displayed. Let's check if it is reading properly. I trust this multimeter. So 11.99, 11.9 so this is very close. Let let me change it to lower voltage. It's 9.76 and that's 9.7. Let's go higher. 19.2. This shows now 19.3. Perhaps the reason for this is that it, it might be 19.2 closer with the rounding. But that is how we read it. 21.8 nine so you see this is very good 30.6 so the reading of the voltage can be trusted but let's go to six volts at the lower value 6.65 6.7 so that's very accurate now let me demonstrate it at the moment this shows the battery, the battery voltage is connected here, my battery, and this is my charger. In order to show you the charger, I'm gonna put this AC bulb here, so you will see this turn on and off. Every time this bulb is on, the charge is starting, and every time this bulb is off, the charge will stop. Now, when I press this button, as you can see, it shows the lower limit, 11.2 volts, and the upper limit, 14.5, and Let's change this, the lower limit, to let's say uh, 12 volts. To change it, hold, uh, press it when you see it and press hold again, it will blink. Now you can go with up and low to change it. So let's make it 12 volts and wait until it exits. Now if I press it, you will see that it has been set. Now let's change the upper limit press this and make it let's say 14.4 volts hold it again until it blinks and then let's say make it 14.4 or whatever you want I will set it as 14.4 volts and wait now it is set this voltage that you read is the battery voltage at this point I've just changed it so it doesn't operate and every time you want to just see it press this so we know our uh, voltage it has to go below the lower limit, which is 12 volts. So let me drop the voltage again, 12.5. Now it takes a few seconds before this turns on. Now the charge has started because the charger that is connected is turned on and this bulb is present representing that. Now slowly when the voltage increases, it will not turn off until it reaches 14.4 volts. I'm increasing it and it might take one hour or five or 10 hours depending on the uh, charging rate of your charger. If it charges with low current, it takes longer. So I'm going to 14.4. Let's say the voltage from this point is reaching 14.4 reaching volts. As soon as it reaches 14.4, it will cut off to protect the battery. And if the voltage again drops below this, it will not turn on until it goes below the lower limit of 12 volts.
I'm going back eleven point nine and it takes like four or five seconds and it will turn it on again. This is very precise in terms of voltage. I just checked it to reset the values. Press these two buttons simultaneously and the value will be reset. Thank you for watching. This was the review and how to use this XHM602 charge controller microcontroller module. This is a very nice device. The voltage is very precise. The belt is very solid. And uh, with the exception that it doesn't work below 220 volts. Other than that, it's a very perfect device. I definitely recommend it. Make sure when you operate this, uh, uh, operate safely and do not touch the area that has higher voltage and if you learned something and found this useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of youtube if you have comment or question post it in the comment section below i try to answer and reply if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos you may subscribe now